As human beings, we are constantly collecting information, processing it, and making decisions based on direct experience based on past events. The insight and knowledge gained by doing one thing, for example, learning to ride a bicycle, can be used to guide perceptions and expectations for other situations, such as operating a motorcycle. In this case, we develop a concept, riding a two-wheeled vehicle, that can be applied to other situations. This practice of recognizing patterns, making correlations to other information, and applying them to reach conclusions and take actions based on those conclusions is akin to what Intel researchers refer to as model-based computing. Model-based computing involves representing and processing data using digital concepts that are composed of mathematical rules and variables that approximate reality and allow computers to recognize, manipulate, and represent things and ideas. For example, one could input video of a human body in motion into a computer to analyze that image, look for patterns, and create a model describing how humans move. This model could be used to simulate a human body even in situations for which real-world data doesn't exist. For example, it would be possible to calculate how a body would react in a situation too dangerous to test in real life, such as during a car crash, for the purpose of designing safer cars. Model-based computing could enable computers to analyze volumes of data in order to make useful decisions and, in some cases, act on those decisions. Intel believes that model-based computing will be a core element of future computing applications, providing everyday users with advanced capabilities for recognition, mining, and synthesis. Let's take a closer look at what those terms mean. Recognition is the what is. It's identifying that a set of data constitutes a model and then constructing that model. Once a computer has recognized the what is and turned that data into a model, the computer must be able to search for instances of the model. It's as if the computer is asking, is it? This is mining. Synthesis is discovering what if cases of a model. If an instance of the model doesn't exist, a computer should be able to create a potential instance of that model in an imaginary world. In other words, synthesis is the ability to create an instance of a model where one doesn't exist. Computers are able to go through this cycle of recognition, mining, and synthesis many times over, refining the results in the process. Ultimately, the goal of model-based computing is to imbue computers with more human-like analytical abilities. Computers will have the ability to analyze complex data structures containing vast amounts of data with many more individual variables faster than humans can and generate conclusions based on that data. Consider a car that can anticipate and react in a dangerous driving situation. In the split second before the potential impact, the car can calculate multiple possible courses of action and take the appropriate actions to avoid an accident, or, if that's unavoidable, to provide maximum protection for the passengers. Imagine this power applied to hundreds of different situations where large amounts of data can be analyzed with useful results delivered in real time. Right now, these kinds of calculations are considered the dominion of high-end servers and supercomputers. Now imagine that kind of capability available real-time to average users on desktop computers and eventually notebooks. These various model-based computing applications lend themselves to multi-threading, in which multiple concurrent software processes are distributed across a set of cores. Since there are common characteristics to the algorithms used in model-based computing, Intel sees this as an opportunity to develop optimized chip designs that would accelerate these applications. Intel's goal is to bring this modeling capability to a wider user base, including home and office environments, making it as commonplace as word processing or photo editing is today, thus opening up a world of possible applications. One day in the not-too-distant future, the performance of computers based on tens to hundreds of energy-efficient integrated processor cores will empower technology with more human-like capabilities. Our future devices will be able to comprehend data faster and use this knowledge to act on our behalf in real time. In the process, they will have the ability to improve aspects of our lives in ways that today might seem like science fiction. Intel is leading the way in making this vision a reality.